Hi there folks, it's Tim G5TM, South Coast of England. Welcome to the channel and uh, we're going to look today at how well that new doublet installation has worked on 80 metres. Well, thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time looking into the channel, then uh, welcome aboard and thanks for stopping by. And if you want to click that subscribe button and the notification bell, you can give me a thumbs up, that'd be brilliant. And if you're uh, somebody who's a regular who has come here before, then great to have you back. So, um, recently, in the last week or two, I've been putting up a new doublet antenna, 94 feet, uh, bent around the garden. <laughs> quite a bit and uh, if you've been watching you probably know I've had one or two issues regarding RF in the shack and that kind of thing um, but luckily that's been resolved now and what I've done is brought the ladder line down the fiberglass pole to near the bottom uh, a couple of feet up and then fed it with a one-to-one -one ballon and then some uh, coax into the two new into the shack and uh, whilst that's not exactly ideal it certainly negated the RF in the shack issue now, one or two people have questioned, in fact, the use of the, the skinny coax I used, the RG58. Well, one of the main reasons was it was the only coax I had to hand at the time. And my most important, uh, well, the most important aspect of uh, doing it uh, like that or changing from bringing the ladder line into the shack was to see whether or not it would take away the RF in the shack issue. And that was the most important thing. And I'm glad to say that it did. Now, in terms of the coax itself, of course, RG58 is quite lossy, especially at the higher bands. But for 80 metres and to a fair extent 40 metres, you can get away with it. And to be honest, those are the bands I've been on, plus 60 as well. I've really enjoyed using uh, 80, 60 and 40 in the last week or so. Anyway, without much f further ado, as I say, let's have a look at uh, the screen. And I can show you the contacts I've made on 80 in the last week or so. And I've been quite pleasantly surprised about how well the antenna has worked, especially given the configuration I'll describe to you at the end. Let's have a look. So I'll try and keep the camera nice and steady in one hand whilst I scroll in the other. I need to get my OBS sorted out on my, on my computer as well, but I haven't got that sorted yet. Anyway, um, as you can see, look, uh, on uh, 80, there's some 40 meters cropping up here as well. But all this is 80 meters since I've sorted the, uh, the RF issue out. And most of the call, most of the contacts are around the UK, but there's a couple there. You've got ON8LVD, which is in Belgium, which isn't too far away from here, actually, on the south coast. Um, we've got a well. We've got we've got uh, into Germany. We've got into the Netherlands again. Not too far. Uh, Italy was a nice one. Plenty around the UK and Ireland, as you can see. We've also used a bit of sixty meters, which was fun here. Um, and as we go down, I think there's a couple into Eastern Europe as well. Uh, yes, LY LY one three LY, and also in. Ooh, where is it? Yes, into Bulgaria as well. So it's done really well, and it's offered me some good uh, some good coverage around the UK and Ireland and into Europe as well. So on 80 meters, I can't really uh, ask for a good deal more given the uh, the constraints of my location. Now, in terms of the configuration, uh, you probably saw from a video I showed you before, and I'll put a little link up there that I had um, originally um, one leg, so the right-hand leg as you look at the antenna from the house, was coming down as an inverted V and then slopes back towards the, the house uh, downwards. And it comes down to about a height of about uh, two and a half meters, okay? And in fact, the actual fee point is at 9.5 meters, goes down to about six meters and slopes down. So it basically comes back towards the house after going down as an inverted V, it goes down across there and then back this way, all right? The other half, the other side, was originally similar, inverted V, but then going back crossways a little bit, toward, again, towards the house. But I stopped that because I thought I might have been part of the problem in terms of the RF in the shack. So what I did with that, it went inverted V, down the pole, and then back out towards a shed, over the roof, and then sort of not right back on itself, but back on an angle towards there. So the majority of the antenna, especially on that side, is quite low. I mean, the, the average height, I would say, is around four to five meters, all right? So it's a real compromise. So if you're somebody living in a small space, do not be put off by the fact that you think 80 meters is unobtainable. You don't need to be a half wave long on 80 meters, and you can get away to a fair degree in terms of bending your antenna wires around your garden. Just try and keep those, those changes, those bends at 90 degrees or more if you can, but it'll still work uh, despite some of the lack of balance there might be 
uh, in terms of the antenna setup, you'll still get away with it to a great degree. So hopefully that's given you some food for thought too. Oh, so there you go. Uh, decent contacts made. Um, all over the UK, no problems at all, into Central Europe. Anything really within about 1,500 miles is not a problem for this antenna. And the lesson is, uh, for 80 metres, you don't have to get the antenna uh, that high. You know, get it about 8 or 10 feet up in the air. You'd be surprised what you can do on 80 metres. And even on 40 as well, similar sort of footprint really. So very, very happy with it. It's not going to be a DX antenna. I'm certainly not all that interested in what happens above 3790 in the DX window. But uh, hey, mooching around the UK into uh, Northern Europe, down to Spain as well. Um, not an issue. Very, very happy with her. So, so far, so good for the antenna. And of course, it isn't a full half wave as well. So it goes to prove if you can make an antenna which is around a 3 8 wave at the lowest frequency, especially if it's a doublet, of course, feeding it with ladder line most of the way into the shack. In this case, 94 feet, 3 8 wave of about 3.7 megahertz. It uh, doesn't do it any harm at all. So I hope that's inspired you a little bit and giving you some pause for thought if you're going to look, looking to put uh, an 80 meter antenna into a relatively small garden yourself. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you again. If you like what you see, click subscribe and uh, the thumbs up button would be great. And the notification bell to see any more of my output would be wonderful as well. Thanks for watching, guys. More to come soon. And uh, you stay safe now. 7-3 from G5TM. Bye-bye.